Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to set up your stream in both XSplit and OBS to basically beat the Virgin Media traffic management, which is absolutely terrible. So this should work for every line package uh, Virgin Media offer. It may not work for the L30, but I don't think many people streaming are actually going to be using the L30. If you are, give it a try. So just to give you a quick outline as to why you do get capped is, well, I'll show you my line. So I'm on the XXL100. Um, actually, you know what, I'll show the XL60 because most people tend to have this. So if you upload more than 900 megabit between 4 p.m. and 11 p.m. weekdays or between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. weekend, so we're talking prime time, you know, this is prime stream time, you will get capped. Now, what this means is you need to keep 100, 900 megabit every hour. If you go over that, you'll get line capped by 60%, and that's basically the end of your stream. You will be, your quality will collapse, you will have loads of drop frames, it'll just go, t it'll be bad. And that's what's been happening. So, how do we get around this? Well, I'll show you OBS first. Now, these are my settings, and they've worked perfectly fine. There is a link in the description to uh, the live stream I did the other day, so you can see the quality. Um, and of course, you can stream indefinitely because you never hit the cap. Uh, you don't go over your hourly cap, so you don't get capped, which is good. So for encoding, we turn off a uh, constant bitrate because we want to use a variable bitrate. Now, the quality balance is set to 9. The max bitrate is set to 1600. You may be able to set this to 1700, but just to be safe, set this to 1600. You want to turn on, use custom buffer size, and you want to set the buffer size to 1600. Um, for video, I would recommend you to a 720p stream. Now you can see mine is currently streaming at 1080p. This is because I'm using OBS to record this file, but I would actually have this set down to uh, 720p. You can't really do 1080p because it will look really bad. You don't have the bit rate for that, so you need to keep it at 720p and make sure you set to 30fps. And literally, guys, that is it. You change those settings in OBS and you will be able to stream basically permanently. As I said, check the uh, video in the description below. That'll give you an example of the quality. For XSplit, it's basically the same thing. Um, you go into your channel properties, you go to the settings, and what you need to do is change the max bit rate to 1600, change the mode to variable bit rate, not constant bit rate, variable bit rate. And then we wanna go to the settings, we wanna set the quality to nine, keep the max keyframe at default, encoder preset very fast. Of course, you could change this, depend Oh, look, it's flashing. This is like typical XSplit. It's, it's like, I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but it's flashing really bad. Um, keep this at faster or oh, very fast um, if you're streaming from the same computer. If you've got a uh, dedicated streaming rig, then, you know, do whatever you like. Um, variable uh, bitrate buffer, you want to set to 1600. Or the video, whatever the hell that is, set that to 1600. Um, and make sure you stream at 720p. And you should be totally fine. Now, a couple of other things I just want to outline. Um, if you use a service like Spotify, I highly recommend you use offline playlists while you're streaming because it will eat into your allowances. <laughs> it, you know, it's only small, but everything adds up. Also, things like if you're, for some reason, running a, a video Skype call with somebody, anything that uses your upload speed will generally cap you pretty fast. Now, what you need to be aware of as well is if, you, uh, if you're like me and you run a YouTube channel, so you're making videos that you're uploading to your channel, make sure you upload them before 4 p.m. You do not want to upload after 4 p.m. because your line will get capped for an hour, yeah? So if you, let's say I've, for some reason I'm running behind and I need to upload a video at 5 p.m., well then there's no way I can stream at 6 p.m. I'm gonna to have to wait until 7 p.m. until the cap's removed, which is pretty bad. So you've got to take all this into account. But if you are just a purely dedicated streamer, then the settings I've shown for both OBS and XSplit should work totally fine. But as I say, if you use things like Spotify, if you use things like Skype video calls, um, things like TeamSpeak should be okay. Uh, it doesn't necessarily use that much. But again, it will eat into it. So you need to think to yourself, okay, I only really want to use my line for the stream and I want to use it for the game. And that's it. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, ask away in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. So yeah, follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, favorite it, and send it to everybody who is streaming on Virgin Media because using this way, you can actually get your stream sorted out. I'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.